In this tutorial, I shall animate the dozer model. I import the model into Z Modeler. This is the original model loaded. It's made out of a single volume. I rename it to dozer and disable textures in the view. The animation will affect the scoop and its arm. To explore these groups of vertices, I shall assign ID values to each group. I use element selection tool on vertices. It's very alike separate selection tool, but it selects logical elements when you right click. Once scoop is selected, I pick properties, and set, ID, 3, and press apply. Then I hide selected vertices with, display, hide, tool. Hover any selected vertex and click. I delete this small fragment, it was originally used as debris inside dozer scoop. Then I select every detail of the dozer arm. Some of details are hard to reach, so I disable solid and views to see the wireframe only. I toggle solid again. And spin the model to ensure everything is properly selected. Then I assign, ID, 2. And press apply. The rest will have, ID, 1. Apply. Unhide. And deselect. To animate the model, I need to create skeleton and bones. The right view is perfect here. First of all, the skeleton base. Then I create the chain of bones, clicking on the skeleton base, and again to place the root bone there too. Then the base, or cabin, bone. The arm bone is placed at the pivot point. The scoop bone too. Click here, and right click to finish. Hide the dozer model, and expand skeleton bones. I rename bones. The root. It will not be used. The cabin will not animate too. The arm. And the scoop. The skeleton base and the root bone have to be at zero point. I enable the isolated mode, and set position to zero. Press apply. The same goes for root bone. And toggle off the isolated mode. Finally I assign the proper, ID values to bones. The root have to be zero. Then, one, two, three. Prepare the proper scene layout, by creating the root dummy node. Rename it to, dozer. The skeleton should be, dozer, dot, scale. Move everything into dummy group node. The scene is prepared, but the model is not ready to be rigged. In its properties, the, vertices, format, should have, rigged, and at least one bone. Press apply and deselect. In order to rig the model with skeleton, you should bind them. I use mark tool, hovering and right clicking on a skeleton base. Then pick rigging, bind tool, hover and click on a model. The log window will prompt the model is binded. When I hover the model, skeleton shines too. The model is binded but vertices are not assigned yet. The ID values I have set, we're just for simplicity of the next step. Set the current bone, to 3. This is the scoop bone. I will assign vertices of the scoop to this bone. Use, select, by ID. Specify, 
three, and only exact matching. Then invert the selection. And hide the rest. Pick, influence, paint, tool. Adjust size, pressure, and hardness of paintbrush. Then paint the scoop. It will turn full red, meaning, fully affected. Unhide the rest of the model. Step one bone up. The arm is a current bone, and no vertices affected. Select vertices, by, ID, 2. Invert. Hide. And paint the influence. Ensure everything is fine. Step 1 Bone Up. The cabin, is a current bone. Select vertices, by, ID, 1. Invert. Hide. And paint the influence. Step 1 Bone Up. The root, is a current bone. Unhide all vertices. And deselect. Refine bones weight with normalize tool. Hover and click on model. Pick move tool. Right click on a skeleton base to enable the inverse schematics. Then disable the setup mode. Hover and move the scoop bone. Everything looks fine. Right click on a skeleton and reset the transformation. Disable the inverse schematics. And enable the setup mode. Model and skeleton are ready. Open the tracks editor. Create new animation. And rename it to bind pose. Disable these options. Create tracks with exactly the same layout as skeleton bones. Each bone must have a respective track. The root. The cabin. The arm. And the scoop. Drag and drop skeleton from the nodes browser, into animation. And pick, match, by name. Each track has a respective bone under control now. Close tracks editor. Press the set key button. Explore the animation, to ensure the keyframes were created. The bind pose requires only one keyframe. Save animation, as file. Dozer. Dot. VMO. Then load the animation. Assign as the active. Rename it to. Bulldoze. Bind the skeleton. Drop animation to the editor. Set the time frame to 5 seconds. And press the set key button. Select the full range with the right mouse button. Click on properties icon of the first track. Change the interpolation mode to linear. Do the same on the properties of each track. Double right click to deselect. We have the first and the last keyframe assigned. They are matching, so the loop playback will be correct. Enable the free mode and move to half second time. I shall create the fossorial dozer animation. It will dig, raise and unload. Right click on a skeleton base and disable the setup mode. Pick the rotate tool. Ensure proper options are toggled. I create several initial frames, the arms lowering down, and scoop digging into the ground. I rotate bones and press the set key button. Adjust time slider, adjust bones and set key again. 
the dozer draws some ground on these frames. It will rise the arm slowly, so the risen frame will take some more time. Then I use the top view, to rotate the arm aside. Something like 90 degrees or so. Set the key. The unload phase needs a front view. The arm is lowered, and the scoop is unloaded. I create several similar frames here on short range. This will simulate the shaking during unload. And finally, an unloaded frame. Disable the frame mode, switch to perspective view. Adjust viewport settings. And play the animation. A bit fast, but this can be adjusted in game editor. Toggle the setup mode. Open track editor. Pick animation, inject save. Locate the dozer animation file, and save. It will not overwrite, it will inject animation. Close track editor and export the dozer. Since the root node is named dozer, I specify dozer, dot, v3o and export. Start the game editor. I create new mod. Name it, test. And reload it. Then create new prototype. Its vehicles, te tech. Press new. Specify proper folder. And type, dozer, dot, e4p. Browse for model file. Vehicles. Tech. Dozer. I reload the mod again. It's a must, to force editor catch up animations. I locate the prototype. And press edit. You see the animations list now. The bind pose is default. The bulldoze has a double speed. Right click, pick dozer again, and place it on a map. Adjust camera, rotate an object. Pick its properties, and specify bulldoze animation. Here it goes. Thanks for watching this tutorial.